Hello, good day everyone. So for today's class or laboratory class, you're going to do uh, a diagram. So using Microsoft Visual. So since uh, as, a, as part of our job, if, you, if, if you're going to be a network administrator, you, always, you, own, you sometimes you need to uh, document your work. So part of documentation is creating diagrams and um, basically Microsoft Visual is a very useful tool for all of us to create diagrams, uh, server diagrams, uh, network diagrams, logical or physical topology diagrams. For uh, the next activities, you're going to use the Microsoft Visual. So I, I'm going to upload the installer on the on the canvas and uh, kind of don't download it and install and work on your activity file for today. And just I'll be giving a simple demonstration on how a canvas work, uh, uh, Microsoft Visual works and how uh, how to use uh, Microsoft Visual in uh, your first activity. Okay, guys, so this is the Microsoft uh, Visual environment. So when you open your Microsoft Visual, you will be asked for uh, creating from a template. So we have different templates here. We have business engineering, flowchart, general, maps, network, schedule and software and database so th those are some of our uh the available templates available uh, uh in microsoft visual so we can work on different diagrams uh using this application so uh since we are dealing with network we can go to the network side here uh to the network uh, template so the first activity is you're going to create a rack diagram so we have the rack diagram uh template here so I can click this one and okay so I now uh, I am now on the so this is the workspace area of Microsoft Visual so on the left side are the uh, uh, different objects or different uh, components that you can add to the uh, rack design or to the rack uh, diagram so since we are dealing with server rack so we can uh, look for Can look uh, we can go to the rack mounted equipments so since we are dealing with the cabinet so this our server rack cabinet you can place this one you can enlarge if you want you can maximize Okay, so this is the 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 uh, server rack cabinet. So basically, I've already discussed the different devices and equipments, and part of uh, the equipment is a server rack. So this is where you mount uh, rack mountable servers and other devices. So basically, this is a forty two U or forty two rack units. So these are the uh, mounting size of a particular. Uh, equipment so basically you can install a 42 units uh, uh, server rack units of devices so every time you place a particular server there is a corresponding rack unit for example this is a server for example so the server consumes eight units so basically these are eight slots on the on the mounting uh, on the server rack cabinet so if you're going to design you can always Reduce the size. For example, reduce the size of the of the devices. Then place it here. Okay. Okay. So there are different elements here. You have the laptop monitor. For example, I'm going to add a uh, monitor here. example a router and resize okay so that's that uh, that will be your first activity I'm going to give you a, uh, a diagram or a, a picture and you're going to recreate the, 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 the server rack diagram using this one and by the way uh, some of the tools if you if you're going to look for some of the uh, equipments or devices or there are different 
uh, elements here. Okay, but for now we're going to, you're going to work on the server rack uh, design or diagram. So just use this uh, rack mountable equipment and other and other objects here in Microsoft Visual. So once you're done, you can save it as VSD. So this is a .vsd file or the Microsoft Visual file. And you can save as. You can highlight the port or the everything or the portion that you wanted to save. Just click the file. Save as. Then you can save it as a JPEG. Okay, so... So for your activity, you're going to create the server rack design using Microsoft Visual. So just copy or recreate the diagram um, from the photo that I, I'm going to give you and save it as that VSD file or Visual file and also as JPEG. Okay, so just work on your laboratory activity for today. So I'll be giving you the installer and uh, kindly upload, uh, kindly work on the activity and upload it on canvas. Okay, so uh, so these are your templates here. So these are the tools, the equipment, the objects that you can place on your works, workspace. But you can also add some of the elements. If you need something, you just click this symbol or the shape symbol. Just click this one. And you have the network, network diagram. And there are other, uh, there are other objects here. So for example, I'm going to click network and peripherals. So there are other network peripherals and uh, objects here, like for example, firewall. Okay, you can always go back to this one and look for uh, different devices or different uh, objects. Okay, but uh, for now, you're going to just work on the server wrap. But for the next... Uh, for the next activity, so you're going to do logical diagrams and other diagrams. So you can always go back to the shapes and go to different uh, template. Okay, so that um, that this may help you on adding some of the objects that you want to add on your uh, diagram. So just click the shape and you have the different folders here and here and just select the, uh, the folder that you want and it will display all of the available objects uh, for your design.